arms up. We draw the shoulders down. And then gradually lower. Elbows in alignment with the shoulders. Let's go again. On that exhale, your legs going up back to the legs against that box. Stay. And then you bring it right back right down. Open the elbows to the side. Now let's go for three. Now legs coming up again. You're going to strengthen that right shoulder. And then you bring it right back down. Now two more. Exhale, lift long arms going up. And now inhaling you flat. Now one more. Exhale, you lift going up steady. Keeping your arms really long. Now gradually lower your arms down in front of you. Hold, yes, your carriage will move. And then you lift going right back up again. Careful not to arch that back. So engage that core. Now let's go, lower your arms right in front of you, keeping that tension in the strap. And then you lift, right back up. Let's go two more. Now lower the arms down in front of you, steady. And then you lift your arms back up. Now one more. Lower your arms down in front of you. And then you lift your arms up. Now bend your elbows, lower your arms down in front of you. Okay. Now, you use your opposite hand to grab the long strap. The left hand holding onto the long strap. Good. Now, keep the back a bit taller. You're going to have your arms this way. All right? Good. So it kind of feels like you have your face looking at each other. Okay? Good. Now, long legs. So you want to straighten your legs forward. Remember the influencers? Good. So now they're strong enough to stay. Hold it. Now, inhale. On that exhale, pull. Opening, long arms to the side. Again, you're not moving that spine. And then you flex your elbows, bring it in. Your elbows are pointed to the side, shoulders relaxed. Now let's go again for four. Open out your pull. Arms are really long, head looking forward. And then you flex your elbows. Move it so to keep the tension in your strap. Now let's go again. Now open out again, you stretch. Hold on to the strap with five fingers. And then you gradually pull. Right back in. Now let's go for three. Now open up again for that three. Stay. And then you pull. Back in. Now two more. Exhale. Feet open. And then you pull. Back in. Now let's go on that one more. Exhale. Open up for that one. Hold it there. Hold it there for four. Hold it there for three. Open your foot two. Now bend your elbows and then you drop the strap. Yeah. All right. We're going to be changing our positions that we have on the move. One move. One move. Take it on the yellow. Now we're going to turn our face to the back. Turn our face to the back. All right. So you're going to pick up your straps. You're going to have your foot in, all the way up over the knee in the strap, and then you lower the foot down. Okay? Yes. So the strap is going to stay on the side of the leg, okay? So you want to just have the foot in. In the small one or the big one? The long strap, okay? And then you lower the foot down. So both sides. All right. On both Yeah, on both sides. On both sides? Side of the legs, okay? To the side of the legs. Right over the knees. Right over the knees. Alright. Now, you're gonna drop your palms down. Kind of reach. So you want to gradually just flex your spine. Your hands will come down completely down. Like this. Good. Now hold it. So you're gonna point your fingers to the front. Very stable at once. Now you want to grab your long strap using your left hand. I was lifting the line on the shoulders, arms facing each other. Okay. I'm gonna hold it right there, have your palms facing each other, keeping the spine tall. Now inhaling on that exhale, both arms, arms towards that ceiling. Draw the shoulders down, grab that tail, elongate the arm high, and then you lower your head to the side, line over the shoulder. Now let's go again. Lift going up, 
Yeah. Long arms up. Yeah. Hold. And then you flex. Yeah. That is your form. Now exhale, lift. Pull forward. And then you inhale. And the elbow. Now three more. <coughs> exhale, you lift for three. And then you lower the elbows down. Look forward, you have the chest. Two more. Exhale it. Lift it going up for that two. And then you lower the elbows to the side. Now one more. Exhale, lift your arms going up. Hey, one more. What's that? Now keep your arms steady. Now lower your arms down in front of you. Hold the back stay steady. And then you move with control, maintaining that tension in the wall. Now, if you're three more, Julie, I saw that. The way you are strong, stay. And then you lift right back up. Now, two more, Sherry. Lower. I see your picture expression, okay? And then you lift right back up. Now, one more. Lower the arms down. And then you lift your arms back up. Now, bend your elbows and then you lower the arms down. Let's use the right hand. Now, let's hold on to the long strap on the right. You're going to have the elbow out to the side. Have your hands in the fist. Have your hands right in front of that chest. Relax your shoulders down like a ball. Now, inhaling. On that exhale, pull. Open the arms. You're going to stabilize your elbows. And then you flex. I forgot something. Both legs forward. Thank you. Hold it. With a tall spine. Inhale it. Palms facing the chest. On that exhale, you pull. Hold it. Legs are below. Back stays tall. And then you flex the elbow. Hold. Now let's go for four. Now pull again for that four. Long arms to the side. Hold it steady. And then you flex. Bring it back in. Now three more. Exhale it. You pull. And then you gradually bring it back in. Now two more. Open up again for that two. Stay. And you pull. Now one more. Pull again for that one. Keep your arms with you. Hold it steady. For four. For three. For two. And then you flex for one. Rest your arms. Now drop the strap back into the bag. I'm going to change the position back to the blue now. Put ourselves into the back of the knee. Same thing. You're going to have the legs into the wall strap, okay? So you want to have your foot going in from the arm the long strap. Foot going in from the arm line, the long strap, the long one. On both sides, all the way in the line of the way. And then you drop it. Now, have your palms going back down on the glass again. Fingers looking towards that box. Palms down on the mat. Alright, now draw the belly in. Looking forward with the head and the chest, flex your elbows a bit. Your elbows are slightly flexed. Good. Now lift your knees coming up, which means you're lifting your feet up as well. Both legs up. Now stay. Keep the belly scooped there. Now inhale, stabilizing that upper body. Now looking towards your knees. Now move your knees towards that left side. Hold. And then you lift back to the center, mobilizing your head. Now move the knees towards that right side. And lift your right back up. Drop the feet back down. When you lift your knees, I have to feel more of that core work here, okay? Also your shoulders, because you're stabilizing them. Now let's go back down again. Now lift your feet coming up, knees in alignment with the hip. Pull the knees in. Now let's go towards the right side. Move the knees to the right side. So stabilize that upper body. Let your gaze fall to the knee. And take the body back to the center, the legs. Now let's go to the left side, move, good, twist, and then take the body right back to the center. Now lower your feet down, lift that body up in if you want to rest, okay? Now two more. Now pull the knees coming in again, your arms are right down. I need to take a break. Pull the knees in, pull. Now 
Moving to the left side, the left side, pull the knees in. Now take the knees back to the center. Now let's go to the opposite side, move. <laughs> I take it back to the center. I drop your feet down, you hold it. One more. Now lift coming up again, you stay. Pull the knees in. Now move to the right side, hold it to the right side. Right side. Right side. Good. Stay. Now inhale. On that exhale, elongate your top leg out to the side, the top leg. Hold it, keeping the tension in the strap. And then you bend the knee. Good. Now elongate the lower leg. Stretch the leg forward. Good. Hold that can steady. Now bend the knee. Take the body back to the center. Now move the spine to the left side now. Move the knees to the left side. Hold it. Now elongate the top leg. Out to the side. Keep that carry steady. And then you bend that knee. Now the lower leg. Elongate the lower one. Now take it back in. Have the knees in the back up, now drop your feet down, lift the body back up. Are you okay, Carl? We're going to go with both legs now. Last one of this, the soft ones. Let's go down with the arms up. Yes, 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 yes. Sherry. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Just to remind you, if your feet are as hard, it's easy and soft. The knees are coming up. Knees are coming up again. All right, now sway your knees to the right side, stay. Now inhale, on that exhale, both legs. Elongate the legs, hold, and then you bend the knees. Stay, one more. Elongate the legs, out towards the right, and then you bend your knees. Now to the center with your knees. Now take the knees to the left side, good. Inhale, exhale, elongate the legs, and then you bend the knees, pull the knees in. Now one more, elongate the spine. We're going to stabilize the spine in a neutral and then you lower the foot down. So the carry stays open. Now let's go three more, yeah. Now elongate the leg over the bar, keeping the spine really tall. And then you lower that foot down. Hip flexors and get a lot more now. Now two more. Now elongate the leg over the bar. And then you lower the foot down. Now one more. Elongate the leg over the bar now. Keeping the leg up. Exhale. Good. Now open the carriage, bend the knee, lower the foot down on the mat. You have three more now. Now inhale, close in, stretching the leg over the bar. Hold. And then you open, lower the foot down. Now let's go two more. Now close in, stretching the leg up over the bar. Now open and lower the foot down. Now let's go one more. Now close and stretch the leg over, and then you open and lower the foot down on the mat. Good. Now halfway in, close the carriage. Now pick the foot up, take the leg over the bar. Leg goes over the bar. Go to keep that spine really tall. Now move the spine to the right side. And move the spine back to the center, and you drop the foot down. Good. The carriage stays halfway open. Let's go three more. You don't get the right leg over the bar. Tall the spine. Move the spine to the right side. Move the spine back to the center. And the knee to lower the foot down. Let's go on the last two. Now, you don't get the leg forward hold. Move the spine to the right side. Move the spine to the center. Now, bend the knee, lower the foot down. You're going to curve your spine and stay tall. And let's go one more. Elongate the leg. Now move the spine to the right side. Move the spine back to the center. Lower the foot down and you close your carriage. Good. Come here, we switch it. Oh, you can like, you want to change your foot. Now have the other foot down against the bar. We we'll switch strength back to flex it. So it's stabilizing the spine. Good. Yeah, the other foot goes off. Good. Alright, now open the carriage completely. Hold it onto the biceps. We're going to keep the carriage completely open. Remember the bottom of the foot against the bar, okay? Now inhale it, left leg. On that exhale, elongate the leg over the bar. Keep the back tall. The carriage stays open. Open. And now bend the knee, lower the foot down. The carriage stays open. The 
the happy stays open. Guys, go three more. Elongate the left leg over the bar, elongate. And then you bend the knee, lower the foot down. Careful not to move that spine. Now let's go two more. Elongate the leg over the bar. Now bend the knee, lower that foot down. Now one more. Elongate the leg, you stay. Now close the carriage all the way. Now open the carriage, bend the knee, lower the foot down. Good. Let's go three more. Now close and stretch the leg going forward, forward, and then open all the foot down. Now let's go two more, tall spine. Now close and stretch the leg going forward. Now opening, lowering the foot down. Now one more. Close the leg, close the camera, stretch the leg forward. Now open the camera, draw the foot down, you stay. Keep the back tall, okay? You're going to move the spine again. Now let's close the carriage halfway. The camera stays halfway. Now, inhale, left leg. Now, exhale, elongate the leg, open the bar, straighten the back. Now, inhale, and then exhale, move the spine to the left side. You have to look towards that left elbow, careful not to pull backwards. And then you take the body back to the center, and the knee, lower that point down. The camera stays halfway, open. Now, let's go three more. Now, elongate that left leg forward. Now, move the spine to the left side. Move the spine to the center up, and then you bend the knee and lower the foot down. Let's go two more. Long left leg. Move the spine to the left. Move the spine back to the center. Bend the knee and lower the foot down. One more. Now, elongate the leg. The spine to the left side. Take the spine back to the center. Now, bend the knee and lower the foot down. Now we're going to change the resistance. We have an adjustment here, okay? Yes. So you want to open your carriage a bit. Now place your feet down on the frames, okay? So you want to open the carriage here. That is it. Place your feet down on the frames. Now you want to have the heel of your hands down on the box, right there. The heel of the hands. Good. You know how to do your tricep dips. Now, we're going to keep your carry steady. Now, use your arms to lift your bar coming up. The bar's going to come up. The bar's going to come up. Use your arms. Oh, live. The bar comes up. Yes, that is it. Now, let's go down, bend your elbows. Now, feel your signal against the bar. Good. Hold your body steady right there. Now open the carriage a bit, elongate in the arms, and then you close the carriage back here, and then you lift on that tall, you sit down on the box. Do we understand? Yes, we do. No. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. It's your workout, not mine. Now, heel of the hands down on the box. Now lift the bum coming up, get strength to the arms. Now lower your bum down, circle against that box. Now open the carriage with your arms. Now close the carriage back in, and you lift your sit down on the box. In the intermediate class, they will not sit down. I'll make sure that they stay. So it's a soft pass, is what I'm saying, okay? Now let's go four more. Now up you go with the palm. Now lower that palm down. Open the carriage with your arms. Now close the carriage back in, palm against that box. Now lift up it up, and then you sit back down. Let's go three more. Lift your bar coming up. Now lower the bar down in front of that box. Now open that carriage. You close the carriage back in, and then you lift the bar up. You sit down. Now let's go two more. Boom, boom, boom. Lift the bar coming up. I let that move in. <laughs> now lower the bar down. Open that carriage, and then you close back in. You lift the bar up. You sit down. We have one more, okay? Now, lift the bottom coming up, lower the bottom down, open the carriage with your arms, close the carriage back in, now lift coming up and then you sit down. Now have your feet down the platform, close the carriage. Forward. Can we change the resistance now? We have one yet. Thank you.
You have to think about your heap and your knees staying very steady. And then you take the body back to the center. When you move the spine to the left side, when you think about it, move your shoulders down. Let's go to the left side now and then exhale. Thinking about relaxing our right shoulder down, moving forward, still going taller. And take the body back to the center. Let's go to the other side. Now on that exhale again, to the right side, towards the right end, tall the spine. And take the body back to the center. And the last one towards the left side, moving that spine forward. Take the body back to the center and then you lower your arms back down. Good. Now you're going to place the heel of your hands. You're going to place your palms against your box to the front. You have the ball of your feet against the front part. The ball of your feet against the front part, okay? You're going to put the ball of your feet. So you're going to feel that you can wrap your toes around the bar. You have your palms against your box to the front, helping you to have the taller spine, okay? Long arms going down. Arms against the box. Good. Now, when you swing into that core to help you stay taller, because as you press against the box, you're going to be arching your back. But if you engage your core, you're going to keep your spine tall. Have the ball of the feet against the bar. Now, inhale it. Now, on that exhale, do not curve your spine. You're going to open the carriage now. The ball of the feet now. Now, open the carriage. Good. You're going to feel that you can wrap your toes around that bar. And then you close the carriage right back in. With a tall spine on that exhale, draw that belly in, going out to get open, tall spine, hold, legs are really long, heels are lifted, and then close the carriage right back in. Now throw again on that exhale for four, opening the carriage all the way out, long body, and then you close the carriage back in. Now three more, exhale it, open the carriage for that three, and I'm going to inhale it to close. Now two, exhale, open for two, and you inhale to close. Now one more exhale, now keeping the carriage over. Now, you're going to drop your foot on the side down on the carriage, okay? The foot stays down on the carriage, on the carriage, okay? Keeping the carriage completely open, your back stays stays tall. Now inhale, on that exhale, you're going to stretch that leg underneath the bar. Underneath the bar. I do that good. So you want to still keep your back really tall. Now bend the knee over the foot down on the mat. Good. Now let's go three more. Hold on to the spine. Now elongate the leg forward, thinking about moving straight to the keep places on the right side. And then you bend the knee over the foot. Now two more. Exhale. Elongate the leg. And your inhale. Over the foot down. Now one more. Exhale. Elongate the leg. You stay. Feel your back tall now, close the carriage. The leg stays long. The leg stays long. The leg stays long. Close the carriage with the opposite leg. Now open the carriage, you bend that knee, lower the foot down on the mat. Good. Now let's close the carriage, elongate the leg underneath the bar, keeping the spine really tall. And then you open the carriage, lower the foot down on the mat. Now four more. Close the carriage, stretch the leg completely. And then you open the carriage, lower the foot down. And let's go three more, closing the carriage on that inhale, long body, and get your core palms against the box. And then you open the carriage, lower the foot. And give it the last two, close it again, you stretch, long spine. And then you open, your bending. Now one more, close it again, you stretch. And then you open, you bend, you stay. Long arms forward, keep that carriage open. Interlace the fingers, hold on to that big ball again. Good. You're going to close your carriage halfway in, hold the carriage halfway closed. Now inhale, you're not moving your carriage down. Now on that exhale, draw the belly in, going halfway down. Now when you're down right there, now elongate the leg underneath the bar. Now right leg. Good. Now move the carriage, fall backwards. And now you come up tall, lower the right foot on the mat. Without moving the carriage, the carriage stays still. Now let's go for four. Now exhale, draw the belly in, fall backwards, elongate the leg underneath the bar, and then you come up tall, pull the knee back in. Now two more, go three. Exhale, draw the belly in, stretch the leg, and then you come up tall, lower the foot down, long body. Now two more, exhale, draw the belly in, huge stretch. Come up 
Contour your lower third down. Now one more. Exhale, draw the belly in your stay. Now inhale. On that exhale, move the body towards the right side. Keep it on that green line. Now take the body back to the center. Do not come up. Three more. Now move the body to the right side. Good. And take the body back up. Now two. Move the body to the right side. And then you take the body to the center. Now one more move in the spine to the right side. Take the body right back up. Lift coming up. Lower the right foot down the mat. We're going to be changing the legs now, okay? Now, out the foot against the bar, switch the legs. Now, over the carriage from the leg, keep it open. Now, have your palm against the front of that bar. You're going to shoot the chest forward, now engage the core to have a straight back. Now, do not move the carriage in here. Now, on that exhale, elongate the left leg underneath the bar. Feel that you can pull from that big toes to the ground, taller from the back of the head. And then you bend the knee with the foot and look down. Let's go three more. Exhale, elongate the leg forward. And inhale, lower the foot down. Now two more. Exhale, stretch. And you inhale to lower. Now one more. Exhale, you stretch, you stay. Now close the carriage. Keep it up. Open the carriage, go the left foot down on the mat. Good. That's a four. Close on the carriage, stretch the leg underneath the bar and long body. And then you open the carriage, go the foot down. And three more. Closing, elongate that left foot. Close completely your carriage. And you open, go the foot down. Now two more. Closing, you stretch the leg. And you open your lower foot down. Now one more. Close and stretch the leg. All the way on the foot down. Long arms coming forward into the little fingers will come to that big one. Then we'll close your carriage halfway in. Carriage stays very steady. And goes out to the side. In the and shoulders down. Now when that exhale, draw the belly in. You don't get the left leg underneath the bar when you do. So you're going to stabilize that right leg. You're going to elongate. Keep flexing that exhale with the same age. And then you lift. Right back up, lower the foot. As much as possible, you want to try to keep that carriage steady. And let's go three more. Exhale and draw the belly, stretch the leg. And inhale and coming up tall, lower the foot down. Now two more. Exhale, long left leg forward. Now inhale and coming up tall. Now one more. Exhale and go down and hold. Now inhale. And that exhale, I have hold it. Remember, I said hold it. Right? Now on that exhale, move the spine to the left side. Keep it out of your long. And then take the body back to the center. Long the left, two long, three. Move the spine to the left side. And take the body back to the center. Last two. Exhale, move the spine to the left. Take the body back to the center. And one more, move the spine to the left. Take the body back to the center. And come up tall. Hold it right there. So now you're leaning forward a bit. You want to even get that right there completely long. Now forward over the chin now. Feel you got no wrinkles behind the neck. Now lower your arms down, come up tall, closing that carriage. All the way in. Now let's go again. Now open the carriage going back down. Continue to bend that left leg to lower your hip. Continue to push with the heel of the right foot. And then you come up tall, bring your arms right back down. Now open up again for that five, stabilize it, that left leg for that left foot working. And then you come up tall, bring your arm coming down. Now four more. Now open again, sweep your arms coming forward, have the chin down. Lean forward a bit more so you don't get more of that right leg. And then you come up tall, bring your arms down. Now three more. Now open again using that exhale. And when you lift your arms, you draw the shoulders down. And when you lower the arms down, you lift that body up tall. And give it the last two. Now open again, now forward that two. Hold it. And then you lift the body up, your arms down. Now one more. Now 
Our brother carries one hour long, long as we before. Now stay steady. Now open your arms out in a T shape. Lift that chest up. Now close the carriage halfway in with your right, which means you're bending that right knee. Now stand up. Okay? Just put that knee down. Let's have you drawn like a hold on to the ropes. Okay? Now feel the attention. Hold on to the knots. Arms are to the side. Do a little bit of flexion now when it's steady. Now, arms to the side. Good. Now, maintain the feeling of being pulled from the big toes long to the back. When you lower the chin down completely, long arms to the side of the carriage. Release your arms. Down. Down. Don't pull yet. Don't pull. Just drop your arms down. Good. Now, your legs are being long. Maintain the feeling again of being pulled from the big toes. So you want to feel that you're losing your knees off the box. You want to feel that you're engaging your core, engaging your glutes. Now hold it right there. Now inhale in. Thinking about the chest. Now on that exhale, pull the strap, arm to the side that hip. Lift the chest up when you do. So you're pulling the strap, holding onto the strap with five fingers. Let your fingers connect to the thighs. Elongate, arch the back, feel the back extensors. Now lower the chest down, release your arms, lower the chin down as well. So it's all about the back extensions. When you pull weight, when you pull, let your fingers connect with the thighs, okay? Inhaling, legs are really long. Now on that exhale, you pull. You're going to feel that you're lifting your thighs off the box. Elongate, draw the shoulders going backwards. Tip of the head going forward. And then you release. Lower the chest back down. Relax the legs. Good. Now let's go four more. Exhale, pull. Again, for that four, hold it right there. And then you inhale. Gradually release. Now let's go three more. Exhale it. Pull again for that three. Hold it steady. And then you lock the release. Lower the chest back right down. Now two more. Exhale, pull again for that two. Hold it. And now you inhale, you look. You're going to lift your chest a bit more, but looking forward. Now, one more. Exhale, pull again into that extension. Now, keep the body steady. Do not move your carriage. Now, lower the chest down, keep down towards the floor. Now, you have your back in neutral. Arms. Now, inhale, open out to the T shape your arms. Wrist stays in a line of the shoulder and have your head down looking towards the mat, looking towards the floor. And now you close, right beside the body. Now lower your arms down, drop the head down heavily. Okay? Good. Now when we pull again, lift the back up into the neutral. Now lower the arms down and rest. Now inhale, the back comes up in the neutral. Long arm going to the back, beside that hip. Do not raise your chin up, lower that chin down. Now open your arms out to the T shape. Elongate the arms, go towards the side. Now close the arms beside that body again. And then you drop your arms coming right back down. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. That's right. Let's go two more. Now pull again, keep 